Um, we'll be gaming here in a little bit. This is just kind of a thank you video. I want to get in there and kind of talk to you guys about who we are, what our plans are, you know, give a little bit of friendly advice to those in the world today. But start off, you know, I'm joking. Primary here, the dad, this dude right here, that's chaos. He's the mouth of the group. You'll hear him a lot raging in the background. That's just him. And this is Junior. Um, the Bucky Boys, part of the Joker's Well team here at TV. You know, as part of our team, is our team. I mean, other than our outside help that we hit. But anyway, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for those of you that have took the time to like, subscribe, hang out with us, you know, come in and say hi, see if you like our videos, you know. And I know there's probably a lot of people that have seen these videos that watched the first 30 seconds and ah, it's not for me. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, we're still working on that. How we fix that is we ask you guys, what do you want us to do? Um, comment below this video. What would you like to see us as a gaming team do together? Um, or even solos. What do you want to see my kids do? I mean, I'll set up on each one of them and they can play. You know, we ain't got a problem with that. You know, we do Fortnite, um, farming sim, trucking sim, um, a 5M, Red M, Daisy. There's a whole list of them in there. Call of Duty occasionally. The boys play Valorant, so, you know, I'm not a Valorant person, but they do. Um, they play Roblox as well. But anyway, you know, that's how we are, you know. That's just me. This is what I do with my kids. Um, the world is rough. There's a lot going on in the world today from wars to border battles to this to that to politics. You know, it's, it's life. Only thing we can control, we can't control that. But we control what goes on within our house, within our family. You know, taking 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, two hours a day, whatever you can take out of your busy schedule, one day a weekend, whatever you can take out of your schedule, center that on your family, what's important, what's the most important thing to you, whether it be your kids, your wife, your pets, your better half, you know, whatever it be, you know, concentrate on that for that period of time. You know, let them know you're there for them. Kids especially. Kids are our future. They are what's going to either make it or break it for this world. Because once we're gone, it's up to them. And they need to understand that, you know, life isn't easy, but you also got to make time for the things that are important. Like I said, whether it be whatever it be, you know, me, we do summer sports with my kids and football. It's, that's their deal during the winter when it's super nasty like it is right now. We don't do a whole lot. We do a lot of gaming um, together. This is kind of our alone. This is our time. So you know, it's kind of where it works where we stand on that. So you know, it's, it's, you just gotta you gotta pick that. You got to make the time. You make time for everything else in your life. Make time for your kids, even if it's a five minute conversation on the way to the home from school or from way to practice or whatever it may be. Let them know you love them. Let them know you're thinking about them. Ask them how their day was. You know, that goes for your kids, your better halves, you know, your soon-to-be better halves, whatever. You know, let them, your parents, if you're my age and your parents are still alive, let them know you love them. Send them a text saying, hey, love you guys. You know, thinking about you, how's your day, so on and so forth. You know, that's what's going to make it, you know. We can't concentrate our entire life on the negative. Because if we concentrate our life on the negative, we're going to teach our kids to concentrate on the negative. You know, and that's not going to work. They're, they're the future. They're what's going to have to move forward. And they're going to have to know what it takes to move forward. They're going to have to know that, you know, oh, hell, my dad loved me. You know, he told me he loved me daily, or he went to my games, or he went to this, or mom, or so on and so forth. Or if you're in one of those situations where we are with my youngest, mom and dad aren't together anymore. But mom and dad work together. We do our best to work together. There are disagreements. That's life. You know, but they've got to know. they got to know that, you know, Dad tried, mom tried, whatever it may be, you know. This whole raise your kids, don't show them affection, don't do anything, just let them be them, let them do whatever they want. They're going to carry that on to the next person, and they're going to teach their kids that. And they're going to teach their kids that. You know, and that's what's started. That's what's going on right now, the snowball effect. You know, that's, there's a lot of us out there that are like me that, you know, we love our kids. Our kids know we love them. You know, we're here for our kids. I'll stand in the corner with my kids any day of the week. I will take them. You know, I will, I will die for my kids any day of the week. You know, I will fight till I'm dead for these boys and my wife and to protect my household. So, you know, that's, that's it. Bottom line, you know, you, you've got to have a mentality. You know, there are the woke people that, oh, you can't say that. You can't do No, you know, go back 10 years, go back 20 years. You know, go back to when I was their age and, oh, we would be, you know, our parents would be in prison for what we did back then because we were forced to work and we were forced to do chores and we were forced to be respectful and, you know, we didn't have an option not to do that. You know, so that's what I try and put out there, you know, for my kids especially. And I hope my kids trade on their friends, you know, and I should show people in the world that through YouTube that, hey, you know, I can tell my kids I love them. I can have a black with my kids for 30 minutes, hour a day 
you know, when my kids are going to go out and tell their best friend, oh, yeah, my dad's cool as all, yeah, he does this, or my mom does this, you know, or this or that, or you go to your kids' sporting events. You know, there are groups of people in those events, and I understand that, you know, some parents are not with the other parents. You know, you have a certain class over here of kids that they all kind of hang out together. You have certain class of kids over here kind of hang out together. And a lot of that's based on your thinking. You know, oh, they make more money than I do, or they have a nicer house, or they're having, you know, whatever, or not good enough for that. No, we are equal across the board. We all come in the world the same. We all leave the world in a freaking six foot box. No, there may be the color and design, but it's still the same hole. You know, we're all dropped down the same concrete vault in the same dirt hole at the end of the day. So, you know, we can't be that, oh, I'm better than you because I have X amount of dollars, or. I'm better than your kids. My kids better than your kids because we have money and your kids don't. No, that's not that's not how life should be. The way I look at it, if I've got money to spare and there's a friend of mine or a friend of my kids that needs fucking help, I'm going to give them what I can. I'll give you a shirt off my back to give you a long sleeve shirt if it's cold outside. And I'll run around shirtless. I don't care. That's how my kids free. That's how I think the world should be. And that's my opinion. I, I could be way off, but that's my opinion. But back to the opinion of him, you know, this Joker's Wild TV, yeah, we're a freak show. Uh, I understand that. That sounds very, very weird, Killer Carnival and all that, but you know me, I do a lot of Halloween stuff, um, which you'll have videos of. Um, I'm one of the killer clowns. I mean, I'm. I, what do we do? We do a spook trail every year with a big group of our friends, and my deal is I'm, I'm a clown. Um, I do a lot of prosthetics, a lot of makeup. My boys are coming into the same circle with me. They're doing the same thing. So it, it, it kind of follows through with the Joker's Wild TV. Um, so on and so forth, you know, I'm, you know, my real name is Joe. Been called Joker my entire life, from playing paintball to sports to whatever, because I'm, I'm a class clown. You know, I, I'm the one that wants to make you laugh at the end of the day. I'm the one that wants to make somebody smile. You know, if I can make one person a day smile, besides my kids, if I can make one person a day smile, or I can smile at somebody and they smile back, my job is done for that day. I am happy. I am content, because that's one person knows glad you're here thank you for your help type deal so we look at that way so with me you know bottom of our hearts again we love you guys show us some love back hit that link tree like and subscribe hit us up in comments let us know what you want to see us do um or if you just want to hang out and talk hit us up come to our discord hang out and bs with one night you know we're always in there the whole group's in there and you want to say oh well, i saw your video on such and such i just want to come in and say hi cool hi welcome you know you want to jump in and play a game with us we'll set you up you know come in and say hi you know um, live stream, same thing. We start doing live streams again. Do not be afraid to comment. Get on there and say hi. Tell me what's up, fucker. I don't care. You know, my mods might not like it, but I don't care. <laughs> but, you know, that's how we are. You know, my kids are the same way. You know, I probably not say it to them, but you know, it's one of those deals. It's, it's me. You know, kind of give you back. You know, so that's me. I also, I also, part of my deal is I grew up in the middle of nowhere on a large family farm that wasn't large at that time. Um, we started out decent, you know, a couple hundred, you know. But anywho, welcome to the family. I said once again, Joker's Wild TV on YouTube, Kick, Twitch, find us. Discord's in there and link tree below. Hit us up. Say what's up. Let us know what you want us to do. I mean, say, hey, Joe, can you and your kids do a freaking Fortnite run tonight with pistols only? And me and my boys will run pistols only. I may have five of them. But I'm going to run pistols only. You know, they'll do the same thing. Or, hey, what's going on with this farm deal? Do we want, we want to come in and help you farm? Ah, cool. Here's a link to the, the mods. They're all public release mods, so you don't have to worry about that. There's no copyrights in them. I'll give you the link. You jump in there, you download them, you put them in the folder. You fire everything up. We invite you. We give you the password. Welcome to the family. This is our server. What do you want to do? Do you want to learn up? own farm? Do you want to help on a farm? Are you just there to hang out and have fun and learn? Or are you there to run cattle? Horses? Whatever it is, you let us know. We'll set it up. Um, same thing with DayZ. We are getting ready to launch a new DayZ server. Gates of Hell 2.0. Keep that in mind. Um, it'll be in the DayZ launcher if you guys are in DayZ. Dude, it, it, it's epic. We're working on it. We've done a lot of work to it. Um, had to do a lot of making, remaking, making, remaking of it because things weren't working together. But the goal is, it's a 100-slot server. The goal is, within a year, I'd like to have a queue on that server. And then we'll jump it up again. You know, come in and play with us, dude. There is Pokemon cards. There are key rooms. There are, you know, battle zones, PvP zone, base building. It's all there. Um, give us about two weeks from when this video launches to start looking for it. 
and I'll put another video out when we launch it. So I'll do it opening night. I'll launch it through here so people know. Um, same thing with you know, 5M. I'm a member of the 5M community. Um, 5M is GTA 5 Online uh, RP. All right, as I was saying, yeah, that's pretty good. Minor hit with another. There's my camera guy. I focus. Didn't want to refocus. Anyway, oh yeah, 5M. Um, Come into a 5M. I'll drop the link below in several of our videos. You'll be able to come into it. They have a Discord. You join. Yeah, join your Discord. Go through their channels. Um, come in and say hi there. Meet the family there. Um, Red M. We do a lot of Red M, which is Red Dead Redemption Online. Same thing as 5M. It's RP. Um, you come in as a Civ, Crim, business owner, LEO, whatever you want to be, doctors, whatever you need to be. You come in at that. You know, and you RP out. Role play. Roly poly. Or Romeo Pasta. Whatever you want to call it. You immerse yourself in that, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a good way to lose yourself for a couple of hours every day, or more, if you know, like some of us to get into it. But you know, that's what we do. We play stuff like that. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Said Red M Five M. Just said I'll set the Red M Five M stuff. I'll set the links. Will be in the Discord below. Links and Discord and stuff will be below. Forest Daisy. Like I said, watch out for that Daisy launch. I will post it live when we launch it. That way, people know. Uh, Farming Sim. That's the other one. We do have Farming Sim. 22 dedicated server coming around too. Once again, we talk about it a little bit. If you want to join us there, I will make sure you have the proper mods to join us. And it is up basically 24 7. Um, it comes down every six hours for 30 minutes, basically, if nobody's in it for updates and backups and stuff like that. That's just how I have it set up. I mean, it's hosted on my own computer, my extra computer here at the house. So it's all home hosted. So it's kind of set the way I want it set. Um, but it only does that if there's nobody in it. So if it's fake it, nobody's in there, it's going to stop, reset, so on and so forth. Um, I think what else we do, you know. Oh, yeah, and fun night. If you guys want to come in one night and we just want to pop up a stream and it's just talk about crap, hang out, watch videos on YouTube, um, sports, um, possibly might do a Super Bowl party. Um, I don't really care. I'm a Chiefs fan through and through because that's my local boys. But I not sure what's going to happen this year with the Super Bowl. I can hope. I can pray. And maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. But whatever, you know, we talk about having Super Bowl boys a live watch or something where I bring it up on one of my screens and we hang out in Discord and we watch it hang out for the ones that you can't get out. Um, stuff like that, you know. So I just, you know, basically it's just I'm just here to say thank you. Um, we appreciate everything. Uh, we want you guys to join our family and hang out with us, get to know us. Um, help us get that out, out of the room right so that we're actually getting where we need to be. Um, and I think the way to do that, like I said, you know, let us know as content creators what you want to see. Um, we're going to continue doing what we're doing. We're going to do some 5M. We're going to do, you know, I'm going to. So, like I said, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment, find us in Linktree, jump in, say hi. And we love you guys. Stay strong. Make sure you tell your loved ones you love them every day. Make sure you give them a hug if you can every day. And enjoy, what you, enjoy it while you have it because it's not going to be there forever. Peace out, people.